what you guys got a quick video here for you on installing the dotnet framework 3.5 now if you're using windows 10 or windows 8 8.1 and uh, you want to use uh, older applications and stuff like that then you're going to need to install the dotnet framework 3.5 now normally uh, windows 10 uh, when it's installed on your system it doesn't come with that pre-installed so I'm going to show you a place where you can go to get that installed and be up and running in no time so first off uh, you could download an actual file here uh, from uh, Microsoft itself which actually installs the .NET Framework 3.5 and it also installs the older uh, .NET Framework which is the 2.0 and 3.0 and uh, this also includes the .NET Framework 2.0 Service Pack 1 and uh, the .NET Framework 3.0 Service Pack 1 as well. Now these are in, uh, essential for running older uh, applications and stuff like that. So you may uh, have issues running those without installing this. Now you could literally download this and what it will do, it, was, it, it will uh, download this and install the .NET Framework 3.5. But I don't think it actually installs it. I think it uses uh, some sort of update to uh, yeah, get that onto the system. So what we're going to do here is take a look at our, our, what options you've got to get this uh, resolved. So first off, on your Windows 10 build, uh, we're looking at Windows 10 here, but it also works with Windows 8 and Windows uh, 8.1. So we're going to go to the control panel here. Now once we're inside a uh, control panel, we're going to come down to where it says programs and features here. Now inside here, so if you don't see this uh, look here and you are in category mode here, uh, you want to go to uh, programs uh, and then you can see programs and features right here. So it's the same. Then you want to go to where it says turn windows features on or off. Click on this and this will uh, populate a uh, features box let me just pull that down and then inside here you'll see an area it's already uh, highlighted here and you can say dotnet framework 3.5 includes dotnet 2.0 and 3.0 and if you look here it will do all of these for you so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put this on the system i'm just going to put a ticking uh, sit inside there or a little dot click ok and this will also download the files uh, from the Windows update. So we're going to download these files. So this is just downloading the required files that it needs. And I'm going to apply the changes to our system. Now if you do run into any error messages, and I will post these error messages on the screen during the installation process, then you can use your Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 media and uh, use that put it into your into your DVD ROM drive or USB flash drive and install the .NET framework from from that location because they are built into there so now we need to uh, restart our system to make the changes so I'm just gonna click close here and restart our system And there we are back at the desktop. Now, as I said, if you do run into any error messages or anything like that, and I will put those error messages on the screen so you can see them. If you do run into these type of error messages, then what you need to do is uh, put your DVD of your uh, Windows 10 or Windows 8 or 8.1 or your USB flash drive, which has got your files on it. Now, during the installation process, if you are receiving error messages, then what you can do is use a command to uh, pull the information from uh, your Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 media, whether it be a USB flash drive or whether it be a DVD that you've got for Windows. So as you can see here, uh, we've got the media plugged into the computer, whether it be a flash drive or a DVD. And you can see it there and the drive is D so we would need to do if this was the case would open up a command prompt with administrator privileges which is the command prompt admin by right clicking on the start button in Windows 10 and there we have the administrator command prompt from here you would put this command in here now if you've not got a D drive uh, and it's another letter you just need to change that letter there okay so if it's a D 
then you leave it D and if it if it's not D and it's something else like E or F then you need to change that D to an E or an F once you've done that push enter it will then start to read uh, the disk and pull the information from that feature so you can see here enabling feature it's starting to uh, pull it off the disk and you should be done okay now to check whether the installation or what version of .NET Framework you've got installed uh, you can come down to the start button right click on this and go file explorer inside here go this PC then the C drive then inside windows and then drill down to where you see uh, Microsoft.NET. Now inside here, as you can see here, go inside here and you will see Framework. Inside here you will see all the frameworks that are installed on this system and now we're fully up to date and we've got the older versions as well installed on this system. And that's basically how you can see whether it's installed OK. And now when you run your programs you should have no problems whatsoever. And uh, that's pretty much it. If we take a look at the location now, we can see uh, what it looks like. So I'm just going to go into programs and features here, and then back into here. We'll let this populate. And there you go. You should be back up and running. You should be able to run all those uh, programs, and that should be it. You should have no troubles at all. And that's where pretty a common error that people get in that they can't uh, run these programs because of this and uh, it's not generally installed on the system because it uses the latest which is 4.6 okay and that's basically how you can go ahead and do that it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and that works with windows 8 8.1 and windows 10. so i hope this one helps you out guys my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. And also if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that, you can always head over to the forums and uh, post up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.